Modular electric car goes off-road in Africa. Designers in Germany have unveiled an electric car custom designed for rugged African terrain. The A-Car is an all-wheel drive electric car with seating for two. The vehicle can be charged in seven hours from a regular household wall socket. The A-Car has a range of 80 kilometers and a top speed of 60 kilometers per hour. Solar panels on the roof can collect energy throughout the day to keep the car running. The car is designed for multiple functions, such as transporting cargo or to help provide medical care in remote areas. The first prototype was tested on roads in Ghana in July. The team will present their new prototype at the International Motor Show in Frankfurt in September. Homegrown car, anyone? A group of students from the Netherlands have built a four-seat electric car from materials derived from sugar beets and flax, making it the world's first biodegradable car. The chassis of the car is made from a honeycomb core made of polylactic acid sandwiched between two flax fiber composite sheets. The structure is said to be comparable in strength to fiberglass. Only the wheels and suspension systems are not made of biodegradable materials. The biocomposite materials give the car a weight of only 300 kilos, thus significantly reducing its battery size relative to other electric cars. Users can access the car via a smartphone or a card with an NFC chip. The prototype has not yet passed crash tests because the material will likely break upon impact. However, the developers say they intend to test drive the car on city streets once they receive government approval. Jetpack Company comes out with electric VTOL concept. After giving the world its first working jetpack, David Maimon and company are bringing to life yet another science fiction dream, flying cars. Jetpack Aviation is designing a new single seat electric multi-copter equipped with six arms, 12 propellers and landing balls instead of skids. Each arm on the VTOL aircraft comes with two propellers, one mounted on top and another underneath. They spin in opposite directions. The flying car will only be able to travel up to 90 miles per hour and operate up to 20 minutes before it needs to be recharged. Two of the middle arms will be designed to fold in so that the vehicle will be low and thin enough to fit inside a garage. Jetpack Aviation is currently developing a safety system for the project, with the team estimating that they will begin building the device in about six months. Israeli company wants to build electric roads that can charge buses and cars. Imagine if you could charge your electric car or bus simply by driving. That is the vision of Israeli company Electroad. Electroad has designed a system that charges electric vehicles by embedding energy transfer coils in the road. As a vehicle such as a bus travels over the coils, its battery is charged wirelessly. Electroad claims it can lay two kilometers of energy transfer coils in a day. Road is dug up by one machine. The coils are laid. Then another machine buries the coils under bitumen. Roadside equipment helps to monitor electricity usage. Electrode hopes to begin testing the system with a public bus in Tel Aviv. U.S. designates electric vehicle charging corridors. Taking your electric car out further than work or a nearby shopping mall is about to get a lot easier, thanks to a new initiative launched by the Obama administration. The U.S. federal government plans to establish 48 electric vehicle charging corridors across the country to encourage the adoption of electric vehicles. The 48 corridors will be designated by the Department of Transportation. They will cover nearly 25,000 miles, crossing 35 states and the District of Columbia. The plans call for either an existing or a planned charging station within every 50 miles along these corridors. New signs approved by the Federal Highway Administration will help drivers identify and locate these charging stations. The signage and placement of charging stations at 50 mile intervals will help overcome what analysts call range anxiety, one of the main barriers to using electric vehicles for longer trips. Electric cars such as the Volkswagen e-Golf, Chevrolet Spark, and BMW's i3 can travel only 80 miles on a single charge. Among the 48 vehicle charging corridors are Interstate 5 from San Diego to the Canadian border, 
Interstates 10, 20, 30, 35, and 45 in Texas, and Interstate 80 from Nebraska to New York City. Tesla's new electric cars are going to hit ludicrous speeds. Tesla Motors announced a battery upgrade on Tuesday that sees the company claiming the title of the world's fastest car in production. Tesla's new battery will bring the high-end version of its Model S sedan from 0 to 60 miles per hour in just 2.5 seconds, shaving 0.3 seconds off its current acceleration time. The new battery extends the driving range of the vehicle to 315 miles. Meanwhile, high-end versions of the Tesla Model X crossover car can now accelerate from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 2.9 seconds. The new battery extends the driving range of the Model X to 289 miles. Both the Model S and the Model X hit top performance in a mode that Tesla calls ludicrous, and it's not hard to see why. At 0 to 60 in 2.5 seconds, the Model S is now the third fastest car in the world and just slightly slower than million-dollar supercars, the Ferrari La Ferrari, and the Porsche 918 Spyder. The new Tesla cars with ludicrous mode start at $134,500, which is not cheap. But Tesla boss Elon Musk says electric is the future, and the high-end vehicles are helping to fund development of the Model 3, which retails for $35,000 up.